Green Rising, my friends. Hey there, what's up? If you're new here, welcome. Join us as we get into this. Hold on with this. The markets have not been looking good. Now you can, we can go forth and claim it's various things. Is it a time of year people taking taxes? Is it the new variant? Well, you know, let's go, let's just, I don't say let's discuss each of those, but just briefly, it seems that the, with the variant, it may be more infectious, but less virulent, meaning less dangerous. So that may be the natural course, the pandemic in 19, um, the influence of 1919, 1918, uh, that where it went for a couple of years, it also um, became um, endemic, meaning it lasted a long time, but it was less uh, dangerous. And it's even still around to this day, it's in our um, flu vaccine that we have now. So going forward, something we will more than likely just be something that we as a society, as humans will have to live with. We just want to do the best we can, especially there are some companies coming out with uh, therapeutic medications that will be able to treat the uh, scourge, of, the scourge of what's been bothering us for the past couple of years now. But I'm always optimistic and looking forward to what's next. So Bitcoin um, starting to show a little bit more life. I mean, you know, the drop down has been fairly dramatic over the past several days. But if you've been in the market for a couple of years, you know, this is not that dramatic right now. For new people, it's probably, oh, my gosh, it seems like the sky is falling. But, you know, this is healthy for us. The fact that it's stopping is going back up. OK, well, you know, probably ready for that next leg now. The um, you see here the market cap is at two point two trillion. Bitcoin is at forty nine thousand now, seventy six dollars. You know, waivers around that. Ethereum stays strong above four K, so it's at four thousand one hundred sixty two now. Binance at five hundred forty eight. Solana. $193. Cardano dropped down pretty dramatically. $1.37. But it's up since, you know, still multi times since the beginning, of, since last year. So if you saw these numbers last year and you heard me tell them about they dropped down 10%, and you'll be um, still very much happy with how things were going at the time. XRP at 80 cents, polka dot $27. Terror is the only one that's kind of been handling his business this week. Is up almost 30% of the week at $65.25. Avalanche $84.12. Shiba Inu at four zeros three five five six. Stock market NASDAQ took um, quite a quite a big hit on Friday going into the weekend, almost 2%, 1.92% down, almost 300 points now. Ethereum continues to burn. So here on this channel, we brought that positivity and that being there's someone in your life that's meaningful and impactful made you the person you are. Write something nice about them down in the comments section for them this video and say look what i wrote about you on the internets because they're probably an older person as you would imagine hey could be a younger person too, or a peer never know could be somebody different every day it can always be different people who made you feel connected to this universe and what that means with that said let's jump into these stories taproot is live still a couple weeks back on it catching up with things i've been writing down the community reacts to Bitcoin's first upgrade since 2017. So what is Taproot for those who don't know? It scales up the ability of Bitcoin to now be able to start to work towards smart contract integration and some privacy features, the long and short of it. So does this make every other altcoin obsolete now? <laughs> 
<laughs> if you have smart contracts backed by the integrity of the Bitcoin network, we will keep a close eye on it. But Taproot is now activated. It has been now probably for close to f three going on four weeks. So you should also see some reduction in your fees. And as I said, and now I'll give the ability for individuals to start writing programs to maybe to give the smart contract. Bitcoin script has a 10 kilobyte size limit, which will be removed, allowing it for vastly larger scripts, a.k.a. taproot contracts. It also removes the cap for opcodes, which allow for more flexibility in the future. This results in smarter contracts, DAOs and more. So, hey. Um, the future. Now, you know, you can say, well, how is Bitcoin cold? I thought it was unchangeable. You know, for the people who understand that, they get kind of freaked out. Bitcoin is not unchangeable. That's what we talk about. 51% of, if it has more than 51% of the people who are mining or, at, or running the code, make a decision, they can change the code. It's just getting 51%, which is the world at this point, to agree to something. So something has to be vetted, agreed upon, and everyone has to love it for it to have that type of... Uh, and so Taproot has been checked, verified, as much as can be possible to get to the point to where people feel safe as um, validators of nodes to allow the, the uploading of that um, upgrade. So that's how it happens. That's why it did happen. And that's where it goes. So that's what's up. Miami mayor residents will get digital wallets for Bitcoin dividend. Of course, not of course, but previously we spoke of Miami coin, which was a coin that the city of Miami through a nonprofit organization. City coins runs Miami coin um, earned over $60 million in a digital token or believes the city can earn over $60 million in a digital token next year. And they were saying they were because of that, they would be able to give a Bitcoin dividend from it to its residents who would get digital wallets. Now, imagine figuring out who's going to be a resident. People are going to be paranoid. Oh, they're trying to track me. Now they're trying to track my identity with this digital wallet. Yeah, these things are going to be valid because then if you start shifting those coins around to your other wallets, it'd be easy to track your identity. So. It's going to be questions. Hey, if you live there and you're a resident, do you, is it the people who pay taxes? You know, how, how does this go around? So, uh, Suarez expressed hopes that at one point down the road, his city could run without taxes, echoing his previous statements on the outcome of Miami coin. And talked about how he's getting his paychecks. We already discussed that in Bitcoin. Elon Musk, a hundred million dollar carbon removal x pride announces first winner so some of these um you know a year or so ago i believe maybe longer does it say okay no about a about a year back in february the united uh the 100 million dollar carbon removal x pride kicked off back in february aimed at accelerating technologies that can remove uh carbon dioxide from the ocean and the air funded by tesla and spacex ceo elon musk the contest will take place across four years and see competing teams demonstrate not just how carbon can be captured from the air but safely stored for a minimum of 100 years so talked about some of the teams that are now doing it. I, I saw this somewhere else. I may have read an article. I don't think I'm bringing I don't think I'll put this to say, but it's, well, it's in here. So this, I believe in Canada, what they're doing is they're capturing carbon, using, using that captured carbon. They are then combining it with the waste products coming out of mines, the sludge and slurry to create this carbon captured I, I, I can't explain it. You take two bad things, put it together, and it becomes something that's inert, that then can be stored safely, relatively safely. Um, yeah, again, so these reactors are designed to remove carbon dioxide from the ambient air, and the team's version funnels the high concentration gaseous carbon dioxide into a separate device where it combines with mine tailings to produce carbonated rocks for easy storage. 
It plans to install these directly at mine waste sites to minimize the transport, and its first port of call will be abandoned in asbestos mines in Quebec. That's sweet. Did his team here to take in um, oil rigs, abandon oil rigs, abandon? And repurposing oil rigs and gas rigs as regenerative farming sites. So they're going to create giant seaweed farms that hang from these um, repurposed oil rigs to remove carbon from the ocean. It, 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 this is some grand stuff that's being thought up, and I love it. Which part of the seaweed is also used in construction materials such as fire res resilient bricks, enabling the carbon to be stored. Enabling the carbon being stored to be quantified. So that has awesomeness. This other one is using a system, a DAC system, to remove carbon from the air and purify the air. Uh, da, 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 da. So they talked about uh, they're also going to be able to uh, uh, deacidify the oceans using some of the carbon stored because the carbon is causing the acidification of the oceans. It's just a lot is being paid out and some good plans. And hey, this is good news. You know, we're not just going quietly into the uh, into the night and saying that we're giving up on our planet. We're trying to do our best to reverse some of the changes and make it just a better place. Who don't want their place cleaned up and nicer? Even if you don't believe in carbon emissions and the effect of what humans can do, who don't like a nice, clean home? I mean, some people probably guess, we, you know, there's plenty of TV shows that show people don't. It's not cleanliness is next to godliness. It's not a bad thing. And along the lines of making our own energy on this planet and, and getting off of the reliance of technologies that are harmful to us potentially even if it's just potentially harmful to us just imagine that artificial sun which could create almost limitless clean energy breaks plasma record so in korea they have the korea superconducting tokamak advanced research the k-star reactor which heated a super hot mixture of plasma containing magnetic fields up to 180 million degrees for 30 seconds. Now, that's not the longest time that plasma has been heated, but it's the hottest that has been heated for the longest. And that's a really step forward closer to getting us to nuclear fusion, which produces more energy than was put into it. And I have a story in a couple of days that I was just reading about where in here in the United States and I believe that our a, um, a um, national ignition facility, we were able to, sorry, I had to put the law down, so. But, so, Korea made a very, South Korea, I don't think North Korea is making tokamaks yet. They may, after they hear about this, be angry and then want to create their own. <laughs> but, so, this, um, is awesome because this is going to be on a step of creating uh, fusion reactors and the fusion reactors will be able to really be able to power a lot of the technology that we will have going forward. I mean, hopefully in a way that God willing, in a way that will help accelerate us. And just even if you were a slight fan of science fiction for time, you understand that there's a progression of these things and and we talk about it a lot here and the exponential growth and changes and how you have to see that mindset and say i can see where we're not only in the future powering our civilization with artificial suns we are going to use suns to power our civilization actual stars you know, Dyson spheres and that, you know, a bit of talk. If you haven't heard of that, something to look up a Dyson sphere, but it's things we may discuss at some point. It's awesome. You know, that's going way into the future. And, um, I can't tell you which company is going to be, well, I can probably guess that the apples and the 
Amazon's in the Alphabet's, Google's now will be, and Tesla's will be uh, some of the companies that have bases that will be investing in building structures around stars to collect their energy. And also the companies that we will create us together or separately, but no on one another. With that said, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.